Hi, um, so pretty much this is my uh, We worked on this for around two months, I think. Mm -hmm. And in this, I, I, I personally support like uh, global warming, so like, I want the world to be greener. And I don't want like, the world to, to be more polluted. And so on. So I make my art like something about global warming. So pretty much in this, there's like, an iceberg and uh, a sea, like an ocean on top. And like, in the bottom, we have factories. And as they polluted, uh, the water slowly goes out. So like the uh, ice is too And eventually we're gonna like sink on this. That's just my uh, like, idea. It's not, a very, it's not a very happy drawing. It's not a very happy picture. That's true. What is the time glass? Yeah, so it's, it's like, I feel like we don't have that much time. People are continuing like we are. Like eventually all, all the ice is going to melt and the water is going to come down and we're like, the back is going to be like uh, on the water. Where is the water going to go? Or, like it's just going to come from top to bottom. I just want to like... Where to go. Exactly. So it's just going to end up destroying us. So it's actually a very good a very good uh, symbol like up here. Can see, did you come up with that? Uh, I kind of, I, thought I was inspired by someone else on the internet. His name is Blue. And like, he made something similar to this on like a, like, a really huge building. So I was like, why not? Yeah, it's very nice. I mean, it's, uh, it's very nice. It came out very uh, effective, that's what I mean. But it's not very nice. It does not give a very nice feeling. Yeah. Why, why are you uh, concerned with this? Uh, because I think at the moment there's like many countries that are like really underwater, like really like low. And if uh, we keep polluting, first of all, like the air is going to become bad. So like humans, like we won't be able to breathe properly. And then like when the water like starts, like, when sea levels start rising, then we're going to be underwater and we're going to have to like waste more time and like money on it. And it's bad for us eventually. Right. And what about, is everybody listening? Uh, no, they're not. They're definitely not. Are we supporting that people are telling the Yeah, exactly. Like, like many, many countries. And, yeah. Like China, for example, they don't, they pollute a lot. And even India and Amer America pollutes quite a lot of things. They all do. But I think it's better if, like, right now countries are slowly starting to, like, go greener. Yeah. So if, like, a lot of people, a lot of countries do it, like, our world may become better. And you could help with that yeah. by having a message like this? Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, I like it a lot and I like the urgency. I think it's expressing that very nice, very honest to see what you mean. Did you have a name for it? Uh, the name is over there. Uh, time is global warming. Time is running out. Time is running out. It's pretty serious warming. Well, I think it's very uh, inspiring, and I think you did a really good job. So thank you. Great, awesome. Mm. So you never told me how you what materials you used. Uh, I I use it says over here. Yeah. I use um, paint, pencils, glue, and posters. So, is that pretty simple? Yeah, it's pretty simple. First, I drew this idea on my process journal, and then like when I realized, when I was like, oh, okay, this is good enough, that's how I want my final piece to look like, and that's when I went on to bigger paper, and then I, when I finish it off, I cut like, uh, I cut this thing out, because you know, like, like A4 paper, like A3 paper, it's a little white, white space, so I didn't want that, so I, I just cut, cut out the main stuff, oh, okay. and I close on this big board right here. So did you add a lot from your little... Model yeah. yeah, especially like shading and all that stuff. Sure. And more detail. Yeah. And then I think in the background, like the color I wanted to look like. Kind of color? Uh, like I originally wanted to be like, uh, like a mix of blue and purple, like streaks. But um, since blue and purple are really like, like, pretty close to each other, they don't contrast. So when I like, like try to do it, they all like eventually when I dry up the image and I got this color. Oh, it's actually very very nice to meet you. Thank you. Perfect. Yes, I know you're really uh, <laughs> proud of this picture and you're probably going to stick with it for a long time. If you were going to sell it, how much would you sell it for? Don't come! If I was Pablo oh. Picasso, I would probably sell it for a million. But uh, I think I would, I don't think it's like really good in the world of like, like professional art. So I, maximum, I would sell it for $500.
I mean, if people are willing to pay more, I would obviously pay more. I mean, he's selling for more. But on the market, $500. All right. Thank you.